Thank you, Mark. Well, you might notice that Medical Rounds tonight looks a little different. Moving across the street to the recently expanded Hartford Healthcare Center for Education, Simulation, and Innovation, or CESI, C-E-S-I. People come from all across the world to train at CESI, a premier regional and national destination. And you can see the high-tech mannequins in action there and mass casualty scenarios. The 35,000 square foot space also includes a simulated operating room and now the Hartford Healthcare Studio. And that's where Dr. Eileen Plotkin is joining us live now to talk about colon cancer awareness. Nice to have you with us, Dr. Plotkin. Thanks for having me. Well, March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. What should the general population know about colorectal cancer? So I think it's important for the general population to know what some of the risk factors are for colorectal cancer. Those include age, which is greater than 50 years old, also being a man, African Americans, and having a family history of colon cancer. It's also important to be aware of the signs and symptoms of colorectal cancer. Those include unexplained weight loss, rectal bleeding, change in bowel habits. If you have any of those signs or symptoms, you should call your doctor or gastroenterologist to be seen. Are there any ways to prevent it, proven ways to help prevent colorectal cancer? So there are effective ways to screen for colorectal cancer. The U.S. Preventative Task Force has published some guidelines for that. Those include stool testing, flexible sigmoidoscopy in combination with stool testing, and colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is the most effective way to screen for colon cancer because we can see the entirety of the colon and actually remove precancerous polyps during the procedure. But Dr. Plotkin, I don't have to tell you that that is the biggest obstacle because so many people don't want to go for the colonoscopy. We have a few seconds left, and this is your chance mm -hmm. uh, to make the pitch. Uh, it's, it's not that bad, right? The procedure itself is very well tolerated. It's very low risk. You are asleep for the procedure. We get that question a lot. We do use sedation. The hardest part is what we hear what we hear is the bowel preparation prior to the procedure. But all of this is better than getting colorectal cancer. So we do encourage people to get screened and to be seen if you have any of those concerning symptoms that I mentioned before. Well, I hope someone out there heard your words of wisdom and maybe we'll schedule that appointment because it is so very important. Thank you so much, Dr. Plotkin, for sharing this information with our viewers.